a new day, a new project. Well, we have a little experiment today. It's nothing spectacular, but it's very useful. So, this idea came after a question on the Facebook solar panel forum or something anyway. Someone asked uh, about which of the cables are connected to plus and which is to minus. I mean, he had a, a solar panel, you know, with two cables with two terminals, let's say, and he couldn't find out which one is plus and minus. Of course, no multimeter around. And uh, here I'm talking, first of all, I'm talking about DC voltages and current, of course. Let's say we have a solar panel here. Of course, we have two terminals. We don't know which of them is plus, which of them is minus. Let's say we have a battery, also same story, or a, or a power source, you know, like a 12 volts DC, let's say. Also, these are two wires over here, we don't know the polarity, we don't have any multimeter, we got nothing handy to check the polarity of the wires. Well, here is a very simple experiment you can do. And also this is very useful for the people who are teaching physics, you know, and they are teaching about DC currents and voltages and stuff like this, because it's a really simple experiment. So what we're gonna use here, it's natural chlor two pieces of copper wire. It had to be copper, but this is the most common kind of wires you can find. Natrium chlorate kitchen salt, you know, like this, very simple salt. First of all, we need a little bit of water in a small plate like this. Let's add some salt. Not too much, it's enough. Just let it run for a little while. Let's get this wire prepared. You can see this is copper, it's yellow, it's classic copper. Okay, let me have the other side. Let me have a power source, a battery. I don't want to show you the polarity because I really don't care about that. I don't want to know about the polarity. So, we have two colors over there, no? We have, a, we have orange and we have white. Let's put this into the salty solution for a little while. You see the reaction? It's already started. There are gases and soon one of the terminals will get a kind of green color, yellowish, uh, greenish coloration to one of the to one of the terminals. Okay, so I bet the orange one it's tied to plus. What do you think? We have plus here and look, the orange one is tied to the plus. You see, this is plus. This is a happy situation, okay? Because we, we, we can see it on, on the power supply. You know, we have something like this and there is no label, nothing. You don't know which one is plus which one is minus and you need this to be connected to a laptop or whatever you know so how can we find out the same way we just put it into the mains so we got this connected here let's put it into the water oops don't shortcut anything yeah we can we can see the gases already and it's really burning look there and okay so this is fresh wires in a used solution let's go back there We can see that very clear. We already start having a kind of yellow, greenish, even black to the white. So I bet, I bet the white is 
in our situation white is plus and also there is something else to mention it's looking like minus it, it's always having a very strong gaze but you know what's funny I'm not sure what kind of copper is this one anyway the darkest one is the plus but that's for sure let's check that out so now I said no multimeter but now I have to check it with the multimeter yeah right okay so it's very clear the white one it's plus so the middle over here the middle of this connector in our case let's say we have we have a, this plug like this all right in here that's plus and the other one the external one goes to minus okay let me try again now we know about this adapter this is very clear with the plus in the middle let me have another another battery I'm gonna clean the solution make a new one so we have new terminals here like I said before minus it's looking like getting very strong gases and plus is getting colored if it's pure copper as it should be normally it's going to a green well today I'm not sure how much copper it's in these wires so all we have to do is to test it okay let's see well, I already can say gazes oh look we already have this yellow greenish over there you see it's over there look there so this is very clear white it's minus and orange it's plus let me check my multimeter now oh the other way so this is plus okay so that's very simple very simple and handy way to find the polarity a cat5 uh, network cable no that's for sure aluminium covered with copper or something if it's pure copper it should have a really green and nice color okay guys so it's just an experiment please don't laugh about but sometimes it's very useful so i hope you understand something about this i am i don't know exactly the the chemical reaction over here but it's very possible to be something like this so we have sodium chloride that's kitchen salt very simple kitchen salt and water h2o and of course copper and we have the resulting substances we have uh, the copper chloride that that's the greenish that's the green substance and uh, okay if it's pure copper it's green in our case it was uh, green yellow and suddenly turn black or something that's why i suppose it's not pure copper anyway so it goes to copper chloride that's the green one and then we have sodium oxide nao and two atoms of hydrogen don't worry about the hydrogen it's not enough to burn your house <laughs> of course so i think this is the reaction somehow that's why we have that green something appear some suddenly from the water solution of course the salty solution thank you for now i hope you enjoy my little experiment i'll be back with some other projects in the meantime don't forget to have fun and bye bye